Hello, everybody. Welcome to this final Move Monday of February. It is uh, Coach Brandon here, and we are technically still in Heart Health Month. Uh, nutrition month coming up tomorrow starting tomorrow a lot of really great information coming up in nutrition month we do have our next live boot camp next Monday uh, March 7th at 12 p.m. noon so make sure you are uh, registering for that but again next Monday uh, March 7th at 12 p.m. will be the next live boot camp with yours truly but again this month this pe uh, previous month has been awesome I know I've had a chance to get to get out to uh, pretty much Every main CTA location uh, so far, we do still have a few days left with the Know Your Numbers campaign, but for those of you that I've been able to meet and get your uh, numbers for the Know Your Numbers campaign, uh, thank you so much for participating in that. I hope that you were able to get something out of that. But again, for today's uh, Move Monday, I'm gonna be taking you through some exercises, but more so explaining how those exercises are gonna be set up for a workout. Now, today is gonna be an AMRAP workout. What that means is as many rounds as possible in a certain time frame. So for instance, with this workout, you'd set a timer for about 15 minutes and you'd go through these three exercises I'll be demonstrating shortly um, at three rounds each, or you'll do three rounds of three reps, six reps, and nine reps. What I mean by that is the first round, you'll do all three exercises for three reps each. The next round, you'll start back, do all three exercises at six reps each, and then you'll go back and do all three of those exercises at nine reps each. If there's any time left on the clock after that, you'll go and start back at the beginning at three reps for each of the exercises, then six to nine, just going through that as many times as you can until the timer goes off. So that's gonna be today's workout. I'll show you those exercises here coming up in just a moment. So as I was just previously saying, each of these three exercises I'm about to demonstrate for this first round, we'll do each of them for three repetitions. This first exercise, which I'll demonstrate now, we're gonna do what's called a plank shoulder tap. Now with your plank shoulder tap exercise, make sure you, again, you have a mat or something soft on the floor. You wanna get into a tall plank position. So a tall plank means your hands are on the floor, arms extended below your shoulders, straight body. You wanna keep your abdominal muscles tight so that those hips don't sag down. Keep the body nice and straight. And you wanna keep your feet at least shoulder width apart. Keeping those abs tight, you're gonna reach up touching my opposite shoulder with my opposite hand, letting the hand rest down on the floor, and then touching to the alternate side with my other hand. So when I reach up, I'm gonna to touch my right hand to my left shoulder, hand back down to the floor, left hand to my right shoulder. That's one repetition. You'll do that for three reps, and then you'll go on to the next exercise. So remember, tap, tap, that's one repetition. You'll do that three times. A good option for this exercise, let your knees rest on the floor, and then still go through that alternating tap motion. So for our second exercise today, um, we're gonna be going through a standard bodyweight squat. Now the great thing about the squat, it's one of the, the uh, most important, one of the best functional movements, one of the most uh, important functional exercises that you can do in general, pretty much. So with your squats, a couple things here. You wanna start off with your feet at least shoulder width apart, at least shoulder width apart. They're too, you know, you don't wanna be too narrow, you don't necessarily wanna be super wide, but at least shoulder width apart. You want to keep your chest up nice and tall. You want to keep your eyes forward. As I squat, I want to make sure I keep my weight evenly distributed through my feet. So if your heels are coming up off the ground, your weight's a little bit too far forward. As I squat down, bringing my hips, my glutes back, chest staying up tall, driving my weight back up through my heels, and repeating that motion. Remember, three reps that first time. So we'll have done three reps of the alternating plank shoulder tap. You'll have done three reps of the squat, and then we'll go into three reps of the next exercise, which I'll show you here in just one second. And okay, so for this third exercise, remember you'll have done previously, before this third exercise, you'll have done three repetitions of the plank shoulder tap. You'll have done three repetitions of the squats, and we're gonna go into three repetitions of hip bridges. So remember, with the hip bridge, you will be back on the floor here. You'll be laying on your back, upper back, shoulders, head flat on the ground, arms up to your side for stability, feet flat on the ground, knees up. You're gonna push your hips up to the ceiling by keeping your glutes tight, tighten those glute, those butt muscles, push your hips up as high as you can, and then back down. Repeat that two more reps for three repetitions, remember. So we'll have gone through three exercises so far. These, all three of these exercises, three reps each. So three reps, sh plank shoulder tap, three reps, squats, three reps, hip, or, uh, three reps of the hip bridges. After you've completed that, you'll go back to the beginning with the plank shoulder taps and you'll do six reps of the plank shoulder tap, six reps of the squats, six reps of the hip bridges. Then you'll go back to the beginning and do nine reps of each of those three exercises. If you have any time left on the clock of your 15 minute time, 
You go back to the beginning and you start all three exercises at three reps each, six and nine. You just keep going through that cycle as many times as you can until the clock runs out. If you're able to take as few or as short of breaks as possible, remember you're trying to get through as many rounds as possible, so boom, boom, boom. It's meant to keep that heart rate elevated, burn as many calories as you can in as short of a period of time. So uh, stick around. I'm going to be demonstrating each of these three exercises at three reps, then each of the three exercises at six reps, then each at nine reps. So our first round, going plank shoulder taps. Here we go. One, two, three. Right into your squats. One, two, three. And then back down to the floor with our hip bridges. One, two, three. Now, so now we're going right back to the beginning now at six reps each. So plank shoulder taps, straight body. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right into our squats. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then right back to the floor with our hip bridges. One, two, three, keep those glutes tight. Four, five, six. And we're right back to the beginning now of those three exercises at nine reps each. So our plank shoulder taps, nine reps total, same thing, keep that body straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, to our squats, back up to our feet. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then right back to the floor, your hip bridges right into it, nine reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so you've gotten through your three, six, and nine rep rounds. If there's time left in that 15 minute clock, you're going right back to the beginning, starting at three reps for each, then six, then nine. Keep repeating that until the time runs out. Hopefully you got something out of this workout today. You'll definitely feel that heart rate elevated and you've definitely burned a lot of calories.